Hello Internet, this is Oleg and welcome to another episode of Tech Review. Today is actually not going to be a tech review because I just got this thing so I didn't have much experience of looking into it and playing with it. But we are talking about yet another dock station for my MacBook Pro. The problem is, which I'm experiencing right now with Call Digit, is that the system reboots uh, pretty much every time when the, when the computer wakes up from the sleep and it tries to activate the second screen, one of the two screens which I have. The one is going okay, but the other one is always pretty much always not being detected and uh, I suspect it's a problem which grew up uh, inside the unit itself and the uh, first display port is not very stable it's not working very well so it's time for me unfortunately to change the call digit I like this unit a lot especially the card reader slot which is pretty fast as you still see I have it on my desk but it's now disconnected I even replaced the Thunderbolt 3 cable with the one which I got the new one from Amazon which is certified. As I read on the internet there might be a problem with your uh, cable which is sometimes the manufacturer will put instead of Thunder Thunderbolt 3 they're gonna get you USB-C cable like a USB 3 cable and it's not always the same it's pretty much not gonna work for you stable and even though this is the cable replacement the Thunderbolt uh, ports on my MacBook Pro are not heating up that much anymore but it's still creating an issue and I was hoping it's gonna fix it but it didn't so I was looking at Amazon and I found another pretty highly rated product which is called Wowlink and this is this thing here uh, see I got the box it's a USB-C ultra 5k universal docking station and the beauty of this thing is that's got display ports as well as HDMI ports so they are kind of duplicated and you can go with one display of 5k when you connect two display ports together or you can go with HDMI and it's going to give you like um, 4000 by 2000 resolution which is pretty much 4k and it's got a whole bunch of other ports uh, which I can use uh, including four USB 3 high speed ports on the front end one of those ports will be obviously used for the card reader which I have external USB high speed card reader for USB 3 so I'm just going to plug it in and hopefully that will compensate the absence of the dedicated card reader port on this unit uh, it's gonna also get gigabit ethernet which I would use and hopefully this thing is gonna work much better than the call digit uh, the only downside is when I read on the internet the reviews for this uh, for Catalina you will have to download the drivers which gonna create the kernel extension for the Mac OS and each time Mac OS got updated that kernel extension got disabled for whatever reason so you have to reapply each time um, you apply uh, you apply new update on your Mac OS which is not a big deal hopefully and um, we'll see let's do unboxing yeah the 4k displays on DMI it's two displays 490, 4096 by 2160 at 60 Hertz which is pretty good uh, I don't have 5k displays I have two 4k displays this is basically going to be second runner-up for the best uh, docking station for the MacBook Pro of 2020 and 2019 the 16-inch MacBook Pro the first one um, got lots of exceptions I sent tremendous amount of reports already back to Apple I just stopped doing that each time it's the same ADI uh, ATI Radeon exception uh, and the system just freeze and then it reboots each time the screen it tries to wake up the second screen one screens come up always okay the other screen come up sometimes, sometimes it freezes and causes the system to reboot. I really suspect it's a call digit problem, the unit itself, because it wasn't doing that initially and in my review, which I'm going to link right there, is that um, I ranked that call digit docking station as one of the best available choices at the time of the beginning of the year for the MacBook Pro mobile setup when you just plug in one cable and you get all your systems and all your keyboards and monitors connected 
and if you want to go on the go you just disconnect that one cable and you should be good to go um, power delivery is not an option on this thing um, as far as I can see but I started to charge my MacBook Pro with standard cable on the other side of the system I just plugged in the standard USB uh, C power and I'm using the standard block uh, power block which is coming up with the computer itself so let's see let's do unboxing uh, quick setup and I will use that for a while hopefully it's not gonna let me down that's why I said it's not a review because I didn't have a chance to look at it yet in close set proximity and use it for a while but this is just an un unboxing first impression configuration steps if you will and just to see how to set it up correctly and make sure it's working for you all right and we are recording again so here is a box let's open it up should not be anything super fancy about this just open this up remove the plastic and let's see what we have inside so it's model wl ug 69 dk1 and it's in by wow link usb-c ultra 5k universal docking station as it says here and we're gonna put this on the floor right now and just see what we got inside right out of the box as you can see I have the wow link itself this is the docking station and it's in a nice plastic cover as in you can see here I have ports let me get the light for you so I have ports uh, two display ports two USB 3 ports uh, the setup jumper, USB-C, uh, power connector and uh, gigabit link. So, and I also have USB-C in on this thing, right? So we're gonna use probably the HDMI co um, connectors on this. I really not big fan of using display ports anymore, at least after Cal Digit experience. Maybe I'll switch, I have connectivity for both, but we'll start with HDMI. On the other side, we'll have just uh, connectors for the uh, headphone set, microphone and four USB 3 adapters and also the LED light right so that's gonna be pretty much it on it so you see there these are gonna be used I'm gonna use one of those to connect the card reader which I have external for my micro SD and hopefully that will not create a lot of issues so let's just remove this and it's got nice uh, rubber legs on the bottom, so it will not be slippery. Okay, that's one thing which we'll have to do. The other thing is over here, that's probably the power supply. And power supply on this uh, station is not a big one, because it doesn't support power delivery. So just to work and drive the connectivity. See, it's pretty small, which is compact. Well, like I said, would be nice to have charging opportunity for the Mac. But what I noticed is when you use this port on the MacBook to have a lot of stuff uh, driven through it, this port over here heat up to 70 degrees Celsius, which is not pleasant thing, and the fans are going high speed all the time. Not cool. Uh, even though like the problem with MacBook was always. Uh, it's not a quiet computer, let's put it this way. It's very loud. And I have my cables as well, so USB A to USB C and USB C to USB C. We also have instruction manual for Wallink and hopefully it got English version as well. Yeah, should be fine. Yeah, that and the driver CD, which is driver installation CD. I probably this is most likely for Windows uh, we'll have to download one for Mac OS okay so I went to the Volink website and as you can see for docking station with a driver for Windows the latest is from July uh, 20th of, of July 2020 and there is a driver for Mac OS as well this one's supposed to get with working with Catalina so we're gonna download this one and we have SMI USB display driver and display driver uninstaller. So I need this. And that would require restart. Alright, let's restart and continue after that. 
All right, so one of the other things that you would need is to download the display driver. So you click on display, you see the drivers. Again, there is a driver for Mac OS and there is a driver for Windows. Without this display driver, you would not be able to share and actually get image on the other two displays which you have. All right, guys, so this is it. So as you can see, I have all my display visible. So both of them are up. I increased the resolution to 4K on both. After display driver installation, everything started just to work and I only connected my HDMI and as you can see my temperature on the sensor is only 55 degrees, so 56 max. So the proximity for 58 right now is 58 degrees on the Thunderbolt. This one here on the call digit was actually going all the way up to 70. Now it's only 51 so and 58, 56 degrees. Which is pretty cool. I hope it will stay like that. Uh, we'll see it on the load when we're going to be working on these screens. The other thing is, which I noticed, is one of the screens periodically blinks. Uh, I'll have to check why is that's going to happen. Why is that happening? But this screen right now, it's actually sometimes it's just going to blink, and uh, it's going off and on. But uh, we'll see. Maybe it's a unit issue. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's a display settings issue. But for now, it's okay. All right, guys. That's it for today's episode. That was just a first an impression and unboxing and installation how to install this while link docking station and make sure it's working fine for you this place right now. As you can see I have all my screens up and running. So far I'm pretty pleased with what I've got for the price money which I got for this. It's first of all it's cheaper than the actual call digit but most likely it's because it doesn't provide power delivery but that's fine too I guess. We should be okay just not stressing out the USB port or Thunderbolt port on this side too much and not having the actual increase in the temperature on that port which it's kind of actually for me it's like a bonus I, I, I don't really need that power delivery because I'm using like I said the power block from the Mac itself to charge the computer so far I'm just interested to get these displays working stable don't really crush my system we'll have to check how it's gonna react when the system going to sleep and back but so far it's been okay as you can see the USB speed on this adapter which I installed as well on one of the ports it's pretty good as well. Alright guys, that's it for today's quick video. Uh, it's been just unboxing and first impression and installation step of the Valve Link connector for USB docking station. So far I'm pretty pleased with the product. Uh, it's working fine, the displays are working very well and the port on USB-C is not heating up, which is a side bonus for me. It's probably because it doesn't do the charging and power delivery on the laptop, but it's fine because I'm using the actual original block for charging on the laptop. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Give us some love, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and stay tuned for the next available video when it's gonna be shown up on the channel. If you have notification bell enabled, you will be notified that the new video is available on this channel, and we will see each other again. I wish you a very good day, and we'll see you around. Peace.